How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Okay, this is going out now. Um, Indiana teaches fight at the refusing to call a transgender student by their preferred name. Now, I want to share this story with you. We're talking about children here as far as being a student. Okay, and it's been reported today. Okay, a former high school uh, teacher is terminated for refusing to call a student preferred name. A former high school teacher is now claiming that he was asked to resign after he refused to address the transgender student by their preferred name, citing his Christian belief. John Kluge, who taught an orchestra in Browns Bird High School in Indiana for four years, failed to abide by the rules stating that the teacher must call transgender student by their preferred names. According to NBC affiliate WTHR, he thought he had a Pass the issue by making a deal with the administrators um, to allow to be called all students by their last name. Kluge told WTHR to call them according to the name that they um, that makes a claim that you that they are opposite sex than what God has declared and declared that they are from birth would go against Christian belief. But administrators ended up going back on their deal and forcing him to resign, he claims, the, um, the policy. And the um, subsequent forced and resignation and fragment on freedom of speech, I feel compelled speech of forcing the teacher to take a sign on very highly controversial topics in violation of the First Amendment right, he told WRTV, Kluge believe he adopted a very common sense position on the matter and urged the school board to reconsider to um, reconsider the decision. He says that he would like to return to classroom if they have him. Students at Brownsburg High School allowed to change their preferred names as so as long as they had a letter from their parents and their health care professionals, according to ABC News, Sam Briston, Briston of the Trevor's Project nonprofit serving LGBTQ youth told WTHR that the population is at risk when they don't feel respected and they are feeling all of these type of stigmas and discrimination. Now, this is being reported as of, you know, when I, as a um, 23 hours ago, but I got it on my desk as far as today, which is 6-11-2018. Okay. Now, here we go with my opinion. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, let's just break this down here. This man is a teacher. And he's teaching orchestra. And these are students. Now let's think about that. We have a person that's discriminating against students. Now, regardless of race, age, gender, whatever the case may be, this is a teacher or orchestra teacher, which should not have anything to do with the transgender's name. So he refused because of his Christian belief. And guess what? He feels offended because he feels as though they are bothering with his first. Let me get this right. I feel compelled speech of forcing a teacher to take sides on a very highly controversial topic. It's a violation of our First Amendment rights, he told WRT. You hear that? He felt as though it offended his rights. You check that out. Now, he didn't care that the trans woman or trans man said, this is my name. He didn't care about that, but guess what? He's offended. He's offended. Now, my personal feeling, don't let him come back. Let him go some other field. Let him go somewhere where they hate people because that's where he needs to be, my personal opinion. Because I'm going to tell you something. Children, students, young people are very frail at this point in their life. They should be going to school to learn, to teach. And as an adult, it is your responsibility to be much more compassionate with somebody's child. 
A lot of you teachers don't need to be teachers because you're coming into these companies, you're trying to collect the check, and you're pushing your negative views on younger people. Now, let's just say for the devil's advocate, you make fun of this student before the student walks in the door. Now, other kids that join and they start laughing at the student. You're making their whole life difficult. Now, the student is being made fun of and laughed at because you felt as though your rights was offended. So now the student goes home and let it not be known, the student goes home and commits suicide. So when a mother sits down and have dinner with her baby, her child, and she lets her baby know, I love you, and they be go, we go in that damn room with that fucking negative shit that you done put in that child's head. That even though they have a supportive parent that loved them, and they went in that room and they committed fucking suicide because of your fucking First Amendment rights was violated. Now, that mother's child is dead. Now, she did everything right. Oh, he did everything right. Now, the baby's dead. But here it is. Your fucking ass don't care because you feel like your First Amendment rights was of offended. You have a lot of fucking nerve. You don't need to be no fucking teacher. You need to find another fucking job. Maybe you need to work in the sanitation, picking up shit, so this way you can be around things that's like you. Shit. You don't need to be around no damn teachers. You don't need to be around no students that's young and youthful and learning and stuff, because this is what you need to stop doing right about now, is teaching to children how to fucking hate. And here it is, you're a grown-ass fucking adult, and you stand up to being a fucking asshole instead of you bobbing by the child's roof what the fuck they asked you to do instead of being a fucking asshole. But you didn't do that. But you feel offended. Don't let him go back in. Don't give him no fucking job. Let his ass pop for somewhere else because that motherfucker is going to destroy somebody's child. Watch and believe. And I hope every time the students, the, the students, parents of the LGBT, I hope they follow your ass and that they find you in another Sam school. Let them know what you done did. Make you change your damn careers. The last thing we need is somebody that's an adult. Got our children all miscombobulated, messed up in the head, want to commit suicide. Are we doing every goddamn thing right to make sure our students and our children live? Here it is, got a grown ass adult that feels as though you're going to attack a fucking child. You out your goddamn mind. You don't need to be no somebody you hope to come back. Hope they leave your fucking ass somewhere else. You don't need to be working in nowhere, children. It's okay to have an opinion, but when you got to take it and put it on a child, that's where it's a problem. Just like I have an opinion, and this is my opinion. And I have that right to have my opinion. I don't think you need to be around no children. Because as a person tells you who they are, why you just can't say, you know what, okay, I'm going to make your life difficult. I'm going to make your life easy. Okay, that's what you say. No problem. Nowhere along the line of your contract is said that this person's life, um, I have to... um. They have to go by me in order to for them to live their life. Their story is not about you. Their story is not about you. That child's story is about that child. And don't please, please don't be talking about what God says. Don't use God, because y'all using God to kill people. God created that child, just like God created you. Or maybe the devil created you. But God created you. That's God's child. But you're going to reap what you sow. Watch what I tell you. God has a way of looking down when you're messing with his children. God got a way of looking down when you're messing with his children, baby. And best believe, best believe the, the man above is going to make sure you reap what you sow. Anyway, that being said, I want to leave you feedback in this. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel. Of course, I want to leave you feedback in this. When it comes to children, I do not play, especially when parents are transgender children or gay children. They are supportive, the ones that are supportive. And here it is. We have to sit up there and put the baby's clothes in bags and stuff. And I don't know how y'all make, I don't know if any of y'all ever know what that feels like to sit back and go inside of a drawer and take your kids' clothes and put them in a bag because your baby is now dead over a fucking teacher that got into your child's head and you did everything right. But no matter what you did, your child listened to that motherfucker that was sitting in the office and now your baby's dead. And what are you gonna say? Oh, you have my deepest of condolences. Fuck you. You get a job working in sanitation so you can be around the shit that looks like you. Anyway, like I said before, it's going to my channel. Let me feedback in this. Let you. I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss the rain.